Hotel Val. I'm Mrs. Henderson. I'm so excited for this upcoming Trick or Trot 5K that I've decided to share some of my training techniques with you. I've run a lot of races. In fact, I brought them all with my medals. Mrs. Henderson. Hello, Dr. Poe. I see you're out training for the Trick or Trot 5K. With your medal? I've got two. I didn't want to show off. I do have a few more. Now, I'd like to show you all some of my training techniques. Hey, I've got some too. Let's see who's our better. To get started, you want to warm up a little and stretch out. My hamstrings give me trouble, so I do something like this. Mm -hmm. Or, you could go for a more full body stretch with something like this. Sometimes I like to start and get my heart rate up with a brisk walk or a little jog. Or if you really want to get warmed up, try some bleacher runs. Here are a few more things to remember on race day. It's very important to visualize yourself running strong and doing your best throughout the entire race. Like I always visualize myself winning. Another thing is that it's very important to have enough space while you're racing because a lot of times the races can be really crowded. Yeah, you need enough space. <laughs> ah, so the last thing you need to know is to keep a good pace. You don't want to run too slow and you don't want to run too fast. You want to be steady throughout the whole thing. But some people's paces are faster than others. Ah! That's okay. Winning isn't everything. The most important thing, Del Val, is to have fun and have a great race. Trick or trot, October 19th, be there. Oh, and one last tip. It's important, after your race, to hydrate. Say, can I have some of that? No.